Hey folks, I'm back and it's uh, Saturday and it's actually uh, Martin Luther King weekend. And uh, boy, there's a lot of demonstrations going on uh, all over the country, but mostly in Washington, D.C., civil rights and uh, um, demonstrations against Donald Trump, of course, the newly elected uh, president. And there's actually another demonstration, big one coming up uh, the day after Trump's inauguration. Um, the Women's March on Washington, D.C., and they've got like 200 uh, bus uh, parking spaces reserved for the Women's March uh, compared to 20 for Trump's Inauguration Day. Big difference in turnout there, like 10 times. <laughs> so, um, with all this hubbub going on, everything uh, that's happening, and uh, a lot of stuff in the news, <clears throat> um, kind of takes me back to my days in the 60s and early 70s when I was in peace marches and civil rights par marches uh, all over the country. <clears throat> um, I started in Penn State where I used to go hang out when I was in high school in my hometown of Clearfield and I'd go to Penn State with a hang out with the college kids and I was in peace marches there uh, against the war in Nam and then I went to school in Houston, University of Houston and I was in marches there all over Texas and in Austin. Then I went to Oregon, transferred there, and I was in peace marches all over Oregon and all the way down into California, San Francisco, up into Washington State, and even made a trip over to uh, Chicago after Kent State. So I was in uh, right in the thick of things back then, um, and uh, got beat up and bloodied and put in jail several times. I faced tear gas, riot guns from police, uh, sniper rifles from uh, National Guard. Uh, tanks, I mean, you name it, it was like a war zone back then. And uh, I was considered myself a patriot for the cause, for the American way and for the American people, for civil rights, women's rights, rights for blacks and minorities, and also to try to end the war in Nam, which I think we had an effect on. We did actually bring the war to an end eventually, and we did get civil rights. So I uh, decided to dress for the part. I've, this is my jacket from the 70s I've had, which I bought it. A Levi's jacket from the Salvation Army way back in the 70s in Houston. I have my peace patch. Remember those back in the day? The peace sign patch and I got a peace patch over here and my dice, we're rolling dice for uh, Dice for Life which is that's what life is, I roll the dice and my Captain America shirt on um, which I was always uh, felt I was always a patriot and that's why you'll see my red, white and blues on my profile picture. A rebel for the cause basically so try to do what you can for the cause write your senators and congressmen and the president and uh, let them know what you think folks that's all we can do at this point so I wanted to resurrect this song from um, Buffalo Springfield which was put together by Stephen Steele's great writer and uh, was also Neil Young was in the group and uh, before they became eventually became Crosby Stills Nash and Young and then they had their own solo careers too but uh, great group, Buffalo Springfield. So this is For What It's Worth, one of our great um, demonstration songs we used to sing. I actually even have a, uh, eventually I'll put it on Facebook, I have a black and white movie of a peace march in Portland in uh, 1972 that I made. And uh, I'm going to try to get it put together with some music and put it on Facebook. Uh, for What It's Worth, Buffalo Springfield. is 
distance from behind. I think it's time we stop. Hey, hey, what's that sound? Everybody, look what's going down. Buffalo Springfield for what it's worth, man. Who would believe that uh, so many years later, you know, we're still uh, in a state of uh, revolution, basically, and things uh, haven't really calmed down. They, they did for a while there, but it's all acting back up again, and uh, since the 1960s and 70s, we're kind of back in the same place we were. So, um, anyway, if uh, do what you can. Send, like I said, send a message, send a letter, email or a personal drafted letter to your senator or congressman and, and the president when he gets in and do what you can and uh, to help along the movement and um, and as always thanks for tuning in and listening to these songs with me and uh, songs you never hear on the radio anymore with my radio station right here WTDB in St. Petersburg, Florida <laughs> and uh, if you would uh, hit the like button or leave a comment, always love to hear some feedback from my friends. And uh, if you have a request, some song you want to hear, let me know what that is. You can put it in one of the comments. And if I can, I'll try to learn it for you or look it up out of my archives. So until next time, God bless, and I'll see you then, and be safe.